Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd abatu fillah it is an obligation it is from iman it's from faith to love the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in this is from iman this is the aqidah the ittiqad the creed of ahl sunnati wal jama'a this is from faith this is the methodology and the minhaj of the people of the Sunnah. The people of bid'ah, the people of disbelief, they call in question the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu They curse them, some of them, as a part of their faith. That's what they believe is faith. They have a different religion than Islam. Those people who curse the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu cursing not for you know, cursing especially Majmur or a, a group of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'een and hating them. This has nothing to do with Islam and Iman. And one of the ways that we know that, just one of the many, aside from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praising them in the Quran, saying that he's pleased with them and they are pleased with him. The Muhajireen wal Ansar. In just one narration, a simple narration of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Imam Bukhari mentioned in his Kitab al-Iman. Why did he mention it there? Because it's from Iman. It is from faith to love the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he entitled this chapter just to illustrate his point because he's, you know, Amir al-Mu'mineen fi hadith. This is Imam Bukhari, one of the Imams, A'im, the mountains of Ahl Sunnati, Wal Jama'ah. He entitled the chapter, Bab Alamatul Iman Hubbul Ansar. The chapter that the sign <clears throat> of Iman, the sign of faith, is to love the Ansar. Or to love the Ansar is from, is a, a sign of Iman. And the Ansar were the people of Medina who received the Muhajirun, those who made hijrah from Mecca with the Prophet وسلم, to establish uh, Islam and establish Iman and to establish Darul Islam, the place of Islam. Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, <clears throat> to love the Ansar is a sign of faith. And to hate the Ansar is a sign of hypocrisy, nifaq. عن عنس رضي الله تعالى عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال آية الإيمان حب الأنصار آية النفاق بغض الأنصار The sign of Iman, of faith. This is Islam. We're talking about Islam. We're not talking about these other faiths and these other belief systems. We're talking about Islam. This is what it means to be a Muslim. This is what it means to be for Ahli Iman wa Ahl Sunnah bi idnillah ta'ala. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ayatul Iman, the sign of faith, the sign of Iman is Hubb al Ansar, is to love the Ansar radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een. And a sign of nifaq, a sign of hypocrisy. Who wants to be described with hypocrisy? Who wants to be a hypocrite? A sign of hypocrisy means that someone has nifaq. They have hypocrisy. Doesn't mean that they're a pure hypocrite. You know, one who deserves the lowest, uh, uh, you know, in the, the, the lowest depths of the hellfire. But it means that they have one of the characteristics of those people who will inherit that as their punishment for outwardly believing and inwardly disbelieving.
من ذلك ومن النار. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, a sign of faith is to love the insar, insar, and a sign of hypocrisy is to hate the insar. Letting us know that those people who make it a part of their creed and faith <coughs> to hate, to have both, to, to detest, to slander the Ansar or any of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'in have at a minimum this wicked hypocrisy. That's at best. But to, depending on the distent, extent of their hatred and their creed and the other aspects, they could be a, just a wicked disbeliever who you cannot even eat their, the animals they slaughter. You can't even eat their dhabiha. Impermissible. You cannot marry from them. Because one who has left the fold of Islam in that way, they have the hukum of mushrikun. They don't even... They're not from Ahl Kitab, you know, the Jews and Christians. They're not. In which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the Muslim man can marry from the chaste Christian women or the chaste Jewish women. But the Mushriks, no. Those who are polytheists, no. So it shows us the danger of following that menhaj, that methodology, that madhab, that faith, if we look to the statements of one of their contemporary, one of, now again, when we talk about these sects, we have to realize there are many different ones. There are those who are closer to Islam, and closer to the sunnah, meaning that they're in the fold of Islam, but they just have some differences over who they felt what should have been the khalifa, and things like this, and they have some bid'ah in their practices. They're Muslim. But they are sinful in that respect. They have bid'ah. They are from ahla bid'ah. But then there are those who believe that their imams are greater than the messengers. And that their imams are divine. This is from their books. This is from their statement. I'm going to give you one statement before we go of the, some of the people who hated the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this contemporary time. One known as Imam Khomeini. He said in his book entitled Hukumat al Islamiya, Hukumat al Islamiya, the government of Islam, the Islamic state, the Islamic government. He said, talking about their madhab, their faith, he said, Wa inna min adururiyat madhabana. أن الأئمتنا مقام لا يبلغه ملك مقرب ولا نبي مرسل. He said, "What is a necessity, a ضرورة that you must know from our faith, letting us know that his faith is something, after Islam's faith was something totally different, and is something totally different." He said, "From that which is necessary, from our madhab, our way, our path." our school of thought, is that our imams are on a level that no angel that is close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ever achieved. And no prophet that was sent ever achieved. Your imams are better and on a higher status and a higher status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the NBA. And in fact, what did he say? Wala nebi mursul. That means Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it shows you how shirk, kufr, zambaka can take you to such a distorted path that you still claim Islam and you still retain pillars of Islam, but you've invented so many other pillars that have led you so far astray that destroy 
or contradict Islam and, uh, and the usul of Islam in totality. This is how bid'ah and kufr and ilhad can lead a person very far from Allah to where your faith becomes part of your faith becomes that you hate Ahl Iman. But we go by the statements of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said to love the Ansar is a sign of Iman. So we love the Ansar radiallahu ta'anum ajma'een and we love all the Sahaba radiallahu ta'anum ajma'een and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said la tasubbu idha dhukira ashabi famsaku if my Sahaba are mentioned then be silent. That means not to speak any kind of ill about the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'anu majma'in and may Allah bless us all and forgive us all and guide us all ameen to that which is right and correct. Sufyan ibn Ayyina rahimahullah ta'ala said man nataqa fi ashabi rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi kalimatin fu huwa sahib al-hawa Whoever utters a word uh, about the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'anim ajma'een, then he's a person of desires, a person of innovation. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.